Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have the first modification for the CR9. I'm so excited to show you guys. We will be installing the Mugen Short Shifter in the CR9. She's ready to go inside. And the funny thing is that um, I've actually already installed this mod before. So I just uninstalled it and then I'm just gonna reinstall it for content for you guys. Which is pretty funny, but you know. So here are the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need plier, prior, flathead, screwdriver, 14mm wrench, another prior just in case, um, socket set, a 12mm, and just an extender for leverage, and then just got a light just to show you guys, and here's the movie short shifter, wow. So right there we can see from the first gear to the second that's a 14 centimeter throw. Alright, so the very first thing you need to do is to take off the gear knob and we're using a 14 millimeter wrench and just And then second, be careful because now you have to take off the shift boot, this section, and to do that you just need to pop it forwards up. Just like that. Pop that to the side. And once you do that, there's these two Phillip head screws as you can see. One there, and then one there. Once you've taken that off, all you need to do is lift this up, take out the ashtray, just it, pop it open, and then you can start lifting this section should lift up like that now once this comes out just be careful because there's some cables at the back so just take the cables out like that there's a light one over here and then the cigarette the cigarette plug right just at the very back and it just comes off Ta-da! so now I've got that off now we need to get the center cubby um, Aussies over here like to call it cubbies don't know why but it is what it is <laughs> so for this one there's a little trick and the trick is <clears throat> first of all there's these Phillips head screws that you need to get out. So let's take them out. Now there's the trick to this little cubby. What you need to do is get your handy prior. This tool right here. And now you push this down and slowly but surely just take it out like this. It should come through just like that. Now be careful with this one because you don't want to break any tabs or something. And then just push this into third or fourth, sorry. And then just take it out. And now we're onto this section right here. Okay. Now from here you need to be actually getting this cup holder out. And the way to do that is you need to pry carefully not to kill the tabs. Carefully from these two corners. And from there, you'll be able to get it. So you gotta grab this one and carefully kind of maneuver it into this little crack without trying to break any tabs. Yep. Just, under there. Yeah, just like that, when you hear that sound, that's when you know something's been opened from the tab. 
side. Just be very, very mindful. That's when you know. Want to hear those sounds? Lift this baby out. She's out. Nice and easy. Now, these two screws need to go out. I know it's pretty dirty in there, guys, but. You now need to open up this coin compartment. One, two, and then inside you can see there's another Phillip heads screw to unscrew. So just go ahead and do that, and then we'll be able to remove the whole center console. Now you can remove the whole center console basically and I'll show you guys just how to do that. So just close this and now you're just gonna now you're just gonna want to pull it towards you from the back. Pull it this way and you can start to see the crack starts opening up so So now that that's um, actually taken apart, there are some tabs that were attached to the center console. So you need to remove them uh, and, and this plug as well. This tab that goes inside here, um, just try to go into the shifter and pinch the two so the tab comes out. Um, yeah, if, if you do break them, uh, easy way to fix it is just to cable tie them together. And now, is basically kind of the hardest part of the the removal of the shifter there's a cotter pin right here that you need to remove um, it's normally already circled in but I've actually went ahead and made flat for you guys just so it's easier for you guys to understand and what that pin does is just locks in the, the shifter cable so you just need to just do that so it comes out once that's out, you can then remove this section and, and once you do that, you just you have to turn this counterclockwise just like that and now you need to remove the linkage here just use a flathead and, and pry it from side to side just be very careful not to break anything at this point because the last thing we want is something broken, right? So just go ahead and do that. Guys, it's been one full hour of me trying to get out the C-clip and we finally did it. And the method was just to try to pry it from side to side. Here we are. It's funny how you work on cars and you can just get fucking carried away like for so long and you just holy shit where did time go you know <laughs> but it happens and it's just part of the process guys so if you are working on your car just I suggest you just keep going just try to have fun with it I know it can be a headache but you know just get past through it and you can do it so as you guys can see there is a little pivot ball joint just at the bottom right in that hole and you just need to Pluck that on the side like this and it should come out. Like that. It should come out like that. Moving on to the next step, take out all the four nuts that hold the shifter into the car. Alright, so now we can start taking apart the shifter that's held into the car. And nothing is attached to the shifter, so therefore we can easily take it out and start installing our Mugen shifter right here. Woo! That was one hell of a work, guys. It's crazy. Alright, so just take this out. So do this. And then the shifter should come right out. So make sure you've got the right shifter. You don't want to be installing the fucking original one. 
All right, there we go. Let's get to work, guys. So the first thing you want to do is pop your Mugen shift, short shifter or your shifter um, in and connect this one first on the very bottom of the pivot joint and then make sure that this is aligned this transmission linkage and then you have this one on the side make sure that that's popped in and then after that you have to to pop these tabs back onto the short shifter and you got this one too and then from there you can basically put on the four nuts that hold on the shifter to the car and then start putting everything back together so yeah see it's not uh, see this pivot point that needs to be inside this hole so as I push it down push this in and then sort of push it up against each other and then pop it in like this there you go it's pretty much in yeah so pop that C clip back into this slot and you don't want to tighten it just yet and now you want this slot just to come down so that pops like that so as you can see that goes in and you see this part do you remember that bit so you pop that back into this hole that it belongs to in order for that not to move you need the cotter pin right do you guys remember the cotter pin so here into the hole that's what the cotter pin does and then it gets stuck around there why you have a plier and just other side see how it starts to go in that's what you want and now you start getting this one try to pull it up open pull this one down start building that form for it to be a circle All done. So it should start looking like this now. And now it's just these four bolts that hold the shifter into the car. Ready to be bolted on. Purchase your track so put this tab in here. You should hear a nice clicking sound. And I think that's it for those ones. All right, now the center console is in, ready to put everything back in place basically. There's a plug and a tab again that you need to put back into this hole. There you go. Two screws in there. Purchase your tracks today. Now remember how we had the screws that hold the center console you have to put those back in. Sweet. Close that up. And now, we've got the cup holder. Now putting things back are very satisfying, so I'm gonna let you guys hear the sounds. Purchase your tracks today. what it should sound like and there it opens up and now we've got these two screws and now we'll put in the sensor cubby Just put this in fourth gear make sure this is lowered lower this a bit And now you gotta screw these back in. Now uh, there are two screws just on the sides of the cubby. This needs to be held back into the place as well, so we just do that together. And now you, you need to start by connecting everything at the back first, just like this. 
so it just plugs in tight. And now for the remaining part, which is the shift boot, like this. Like this. And then your gear knob. And that should leave you guys with a short shifter installed. There we go. Now let's measure the throw, the previous throw to this throw. All right guys, that's it for the video. If you guys did enjoy this install or you found it helpful or, or entertaining, um, please drop a like or subscribe. It will mean the world to me and help this video actually get to more people that can help them install on their car too. So, Anyways guys, hope you guys have a good night. If you're in Melbourne, please stay safe. Please start wearing your masks, as if you don't, it would be $200 fine. And without further ado, peace.